Hi everyone! So for World Book Day this year we're going to do something called The Masked Reader. What that is, is that you need to guess who each member of staff is based on their favourite book and also based on their voice. I'll begin. So my favourite book is The Tattooist of Auschwitz. The reason that's my favourite book is because it's a story of resilience, a story of hope and it's a story of love. It's about how a group of people were persecuted and despite all the hardship and the terrible things that happened, there's still hope and there's still love um, at the end of the story. I also like the story because of the historical and the religious value added in the book, so that's something that really interests me. So my question is to you, do you know who I am? Hi guys, this is my favourite book. It's called Noughts and Crosses and it's about a love story in apartheid South Africa about uh, a white boy and a black girl and all the issues that come with that sort of relationship at the time. It's a really interesting book, but can you guess who I am? So, I've always loved Lord of the Rings. It's been a, one of my favourite books since uh, I was at school. I've always loved the strong characters, uh, an amazing plot twist and the fact that there's really six books interleaved into one and uh, it's been a book that I've come back to throughout my adult life and that I've loved to dip into as well as reading it all the way through and it's something that I really look forward to sharing with my children once they're old enough to enjoy it. Thanks for that. Bye. Okay so I want to tell you all about my favourite book. My favourite book is called Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel and it's actually the first book in a series of three books all around the life of a man called Thomas Cromwell. The reason I like this book so much is because it's set in the time of Henry VIII when he is desperate for a male heir and he looks towards this man called Thomas Cromwell to help him out. Thomas is somebody who you wouldn't expect to be such an important person in history because he comes from a really simple background and he's the son of a blacksmith. But this man is so interesting. He's full of so many exciting skills that he manages to raise himself up to be the king's right hand man. I love this book because it's a perfect blend of juicy, interesting kind of dynamics between different people all arguing and fighting it out, as well as the history element, which of course is the best subject. Hi, this is The Masked Reader. It's your job to guess who I am based on my book choice. My favourite book is Night School by Lee Child. It's part of the Jack Reacher series and it's so exciting and full of action. It really helps keep me engaged right to the end. That makes it them a real joy to read and Night School is one of the best. Hi, so if I was to tell you my favourite book ever, my favourite book ever is called The Goldfinch, but it's quite a long um, and quite a difficult story to read. Um, so I thought I'd talk to you about one of the best children's books I've ever read as well. So I would recommend this book for anybody over the age of 13. Um, I also believe it's been made into a film. Um, and that's this book, which is called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And um, I really loved it. It's a bit of a mystery. Also, it's a little bit scary. Inside, there are some really spooky pictures which um, help to support the story and it's um, a bit of a mystery about um, a tragedy that happens and then a child gets taken somewhere and has to work out what's going on um, but it's really really interesting it's really good there's now a couple more of these books in the series and it's been made into a film so if you're interested in a bit of the peculiar a bit of the strange you'll really really enjoy this book Okay, have an amazing World Book Day. Who am I? Hi there, so my favourite book is called Wild Swans by Jung Chang. And it is the story of three women growing up in China. Um, they are daughter, mother and grandmother. And the daughter is also the author so it is autobiographical in that sense and then a biography of her mother and her grandmother. And I love this book because 
it is a place that I would otherwise know very little about and a period of history that I would otherwise know very little about. So I really feel by um, having read this book that I've learned a lot about um, a place that I didn't already know very much about. And on top of that, it's a fantastic story, um, really beautifully written.